so blend modes blend modes are very useful in in this industry if you are using any software and like from photoshop usually initially we learn about blend mode in photoshop so when we start in this industry we learn photoshop first i think so we learn blend modes but these are the same in any software maybe little difference uh, in the calculation but the output is almost the same so like if i open this material and here we have these plan modes like i take this color and it asks you for two texture two inputs the base color color or texture and the base uh, and the blend and then it will give you the uh, output according to the color burn math and similarly these all blend modes so like uh, i have uh, textures like this one and let let's say this is your base and i want a noise maybe this one blurred and this is your blend and if i connect it here on a planar see what is happening this noise is distorting these gray edges it's not working on the black on the white it's distorting the gray edges and similarly in the photoshop if i open those texture i have already on desktop this and this i'll copy this noise and paste it here and close this so this is my base layer like i had here so the base layer and then this is the blend layer and blend name is color burn so in the photoshop this is my base layer and this is about that and then this is, these are my blends so you can use that color bar and you see the output is almost safe it is it has still little grayish thing here but it has little sharper little contrast but the same thing is happening so if i select that noise i can move it around and it will work like this you can see in action it's animating these edges very beautiful similarly you can do that here if you pan that texture like this it will work the same let it compile see action so very useful and you can just drag these and you can use these all i'll show you so the better way to check all these select this one and because this is function go to here and they are all these so you need to just select the next and just select here so this is your next color dose from here so now you can see it has the same effect but little subtle you can see the impact okay so these are the calculation of mathematical calculation like you can see here what is happening uh, is taking the the base then is taking the bland thing is inverting that and dividing so these are the maths that are the same everywhere so now the next one darker you can use that here see it's only working on uh, uh, the dark part only visible here on the white part of this okay so the next one difference see it's it's, it's working only on the gray and the black white is the almost same so you can experiment with these i'll show you all the outputs so it's only working on the black here and these are almost all the same kind of things like if these are like here 14 so maybe only three or four different output you will find because they are the groups that work the same like three or four nodes work the same almost same maybe little difference so after this we have this hard light so like it's working on that the base colors white part and then the lighter is the same as the exclusive linear burn It is the same as color burn, but it is burning too much. So we have just the little edges here. Okay. Then the dodge. 
the we had just uh, saw the same output in here in the lighter the light linear light it's little different from others it it works like a color burn but uh, it gives you the more uh, like noisier than overlay it's only working from black to gray it's not taking that white value okay then pin So this video is for reference you can just check this video and you can see the differences and what you like the output of the node you can use that node in your like practice so you can see this is almost same like we had the previous okay and then we have these two uh, lurp scratch grims if you'll see here these are the blend modes and these two are these are actually the mixing thing and these are just uh, to make easy for you like if i open this it has the base thing like you have a car paint and then on a car you have a scratch texture you have a grim value and this is just a lerp thing you can see it's just lerping these things nothing else you can lerp here also like if you take the lerp you have the base color that is this and uh, uh, depending on alpha you can add the scratches and anything but it makes easy for you okay so like you have base this thing you have this base and now i want to add these scratches here and i want to add like I take the textures these this thing as a grim value and then this thing as a scratch mask and then we can use a grim mask so you can see you have a base color uh, suppose that a car paint and then you have these things so these are now overlapping each other and you can multiply these for adding to control which one you want to uh, control okay so like you want more grims or anything like if i show you in action how you do that you have this car paint okay let's add little reflection on it and make it metallic and this is going to base color okay and these are the values like so this is your scratches so uh, this is not animated scratches are not animated so i can just multiply this and then connect it here so this are scratch similarly i can copy this and paste it here this is my grim okay and these are the masks for that so if you want like this scratch should work on a particular area you can use that so like if i take if i have checker we have this checker and in this texture we have this r and g and b we can use that g that g so like we have this g so let's say this g is for mask for scratches and the invert of this will be mask of my grim that means on the two blocks we will have the scratches on the other two blocks we will have the grim and let me save this now if i make instance of this and here let's make this one and this one so no, you can see now these are my grims i can and this is my mask the checker so i can control how much grim i want or how much scratches i want okay so this is how it works 
and they are two things they are the second version of this this looks same here but under this we are multiplying uh, the grim after this so it has slightly different output but this is the same thing okay so these are the all blend modes i hope you now have seen in action you can use that's up to you how you use that because with different textures you will have slightly different output you that you cannot imagine right now because we have just these two textures for example so that's it thanks for watching keep learning bye, -bye.